Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge and look what's back, look what's crawled back into the Geek Cupboard. It's Farm Manager 2018. Hurrah, we're back with it. We've been away for a little while, but now we are returning. But we are attempting a scenario run through this time, which is very, very exciting indeed, because we've not done any scenarios yet. We've not done any. So a little while back, I put a poll up. I linked to it from Twitter and also in the Discord and said, which of these three scenarios do you want me to play? And the three were, Straight from the field, the land of milk and honey, and there is no bread without flour. And the winner, the resounding winner as well, which I was surprised about. I thought it would have gone to the land of milk and honey, but no, it went to there is no bread without flour. That had 53.33% of the votes. The land of milk and honey had 26.67% and straight from the field had 20%. So yes, there is no bread without flour is what we are going to attempt now. So where is that in this list? Scrolly scroll. I think it's near the bottom somewhere there. So the bread festival is fast approaching. I love the bread festival. It's my favourite festival. Um, the local bakeries hope that you will provide them with all the necessary ingredients for their products. Face the challenge. So yes, we shall give this a go. Now, I did get a uh, little bit of advice over on the subreddit from Emrys. Thank you very much. Uh, about how the scenarios work in Farm Manager 2018. And they're not, uh, you might be surprised here, the most stable of things. <laughs> they're not the most stable of things at all. They struggle a little bit. So, for example, he said, if you go away out of the game and come back, certain targets that you might think you have met or that you're getting near uh, may not be near anymore. It kind of recalculates sort of numbers and values and things. Uh, sometimes it forgets your progress on things. Sometimes if you say, it says, you need to breed, I don't know, 10 cows and you get an inseminator in and he creates or he or she creates two cows from that visit. Uh, no, sometimes that doesn't count either. So we could be in for a lot of fun with this. I'm not going to be able to play this all in one go. It's just not possible. Time constraints mean that that's not possible. So we'll give this a go. <laughs> See how we get on. So here we go. There is no bread without flour. Let's kick off and uh, yeah, let's see what these scenario goals are because I cannot remember. Okay, here we go. So the bread festival fast approaching. Local bakeries hope I can provide them with necessary ingredients. I love the way it says face the challenge. <laughs> okay, I will do. It's a scenario. That's kind of what this is all about. So 50 chicken eggs. That will be an absolute doddle. Well, no issues with that at all. Uh, 50 litres of cow's milk. Uh, that might be slightly more challenging in terms of getting the building in and, you know, paying for the cows and stuff. So I don't know how much money we start with. It's blurred out and I can't remember. Um, this is this is where it gets more tricky. Uh, 10 units of butter. So we're going to need ourselves the little uh, the little sort of uh, milk processy thing. And the rye flour and the wheat flour. Now, no, no, there is a thing here. I don't know if it would allow me to do this but I'm not going to do it. Um, you could, in theory, just buy, you could build the mill and then you could buy yourselves some rye and buy yourself some wheat and then just create it in, create the flour in there. But I'm not going to do that. That's cheating. I'm not going to buy it in. We need to have a field. We need to have a field of rye and a field of wheat because otherwise that seems like cheating. <laughs> it just seems like taking the easy way out. So here we go. Let's have a look at what we start with. We even start with some chickens. So those eggs, that's just going to be done. That's just going to be done very, very soon indeed. Uh, what else have we got in there? So we've got ourselves some vehicles, which is good. So we've got the seed drill, we've got the combine, we've got the reaper for the cereals. We can get all that. That's buckwheat. Now, now for some easy money, for some easy money, why don't we just put down a little beekeeper hut thing and then they can get some buckwheat honey. That's a nice bit of profit. Maybe even get two or three of those because they are quite cheap. The beekeeper cottage things are fairly cheap. So we could do that. Um, what else have we got? A blue tractor, which is very lovely. So the Etos tractor. And in there, we've got the orchard planter and the lily plow. Ah, oh, little plow. Lovely. Uh, in there, we've got some apples, pears, and some spray stuff. That is goats. Okay. Um, right, okay, that's fine. Goats are good. That's that's nice. <laughs> I was expecting goats, but right you are. And then a little orchard with apples. Oh, and that immediately need that immediately needs um, moisturizing in some fashion. Um ah, right, we don't have the tools to do that. Okay, autofill. We've only got three staff. The water intake is too far away, so you cannot draw water for watering. How have how has this survived until now? How have you managed to do all this stuff until now? Uh, okay, right. Let's get a well in place then. There we go. Let's just pop a well down. Can we put it next to that house then? Uh, can we put it there? In front of our little house? That covers that field. That's absolutely fine. Right, and now you three, while, whilst whilst this is, you know, nothing else is ticking on, you do that. So Lorna Adams, Erica, Machuca, and Ethan Badena. Go and do that. Just water that just to make sure that we don't lose all those crops. Okay, 
So yeah, to get some money, because we haven't got a lot of money, we haven't got a massive pile of cash. 189 grand is not very much at all. So yeah, we might want to get ourselves beekeeper sort of cottage thing. That says naught out of five. Oh, minus 194 apples, minus 77. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Why is that doing that? Why are we minusing things? Uh, okay, right. Hang on. Pause. What's going on there? Is this new? I don't remember ever seeing that before. Maybe they've updated the game since I last played. I don't remember seeing that at all. Uh, okay. Why? Why are those things doing that? This is a good point, actually. What's going to be going off? Uh, so, Lupine, we've got loads of that. That's sticking around for a while. Buckwheat, it has a crazy shelf life. As does Lupine, in fact. That's next year. Good grief. Uh, this, that's in three months. Pears are in three months and all the other stuff is fine. Um, okay, maybe we're just giving it to the goats for food. Maybe that's what we're doing. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We've got a little field just here, which we could do with doing. Plowing is in progress, apparently. You could have fooled me. You could have fooled me. Uh, also, it says we've got five workers. Have we? You're working at the chicken coop. There's three watering and one at the small shed. Yes, yeah, so there's three watering, that field. One of the chickens, one with the goats. So what? who's doing the ploughing? Interrupt that. That's clearly gone a bit wrong. That's gone a bit strange. Okay, so chicken eggs, no problem. Cow's milk. Right, first things first, let's get bees. Let's get bees to make us some tidy profits. And, you know, a small amount of profit, but profit nonetheless. So, yeah, two grand, 20 a month to maintain. That's absolutely fine. So let's just put them there. Let's just put them along this side for now. I'm not that bothered. Do we want to put them along that side? Put them along there. In fact, do you know what? We Could could we tuck two of them there? No, because there's no room for hives. Do you know what? Let's just put them here. It doesn't really make any difference. So we'll put one there and another one... Uh, we need a bit of room between them, don't we? So that's there. So another one, say, there. And we'll put the hives in the middle. We'll sort of load the hives up in the middle. There we go. So that's fine. We then want to get ourselves some people that can look after bees. Please give us some bee people. Um, no, because you're multi-skilled and you're very expensive. We just want a normal person that can just do with bees on their own. No. Okay. Let's do that again. Does that refresh the list? Uh, I'm not entirely sure it does. I think we might have to go back in and do that again. Uh, there you go. Anna Bird, you will do. You're very good. We'll hire you. And who else? Come on, one more person. Come on, there must be people in about bees. No, clearly not. Okay, fine. Uh, and I'm not hiring you because I'm going to have to train you up. Yes, you're cheap, but I'm going to have to train you up. Although, is it worth training you up? Uh, four, seven, eight, three out of five. Uh, Four, nine, seven, oh yeah, there we go. So Bobby Morris. Yes, you're hired, Bobby. Hello. And let's level these people up. I know we haven't got loads of money. And I have to kind of bear that in mind. Because I'm so used to having just bags of cash. Like I did at the end of the last episode when I did the series. I was like, yeah, i got loads of money. It's fine. But um, yeah, I have to keep in mind that we don't have all that cash. We don't have all the money. So I've got to be a little bit wary. Right, okay. Where's the thing to reduce the bills? That's always nice. That's just money in your pocket straight there. So yeah, reduces bills by 2%. Sorted. Seven days. That's worth doing. Now, what are we doing? How's that field looking? That field's looking good. Now, can we put something in this tiny field? What we have to hear? Wheat flour, rye flour, butter. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really suit anything, does it? That tiny little sort of field there does not really, <laughs> doesn't really work. I think we need bigger fields. A bit like this. A bit like this. But um, yeah, we could put them down here. Animals are ready for breeding. Oh my goodness, the message is back. The message. Right, how how expensive is it? Automatically caught 900. I'm investing 900 in making that message go away. <laughs> because, oh, I'd forgotten all about that annoying message. I was living happily, peacefully in, you know, lovely bliss, ignorant bliss without that message annoying me. But there we go. Um, I think we get ourselves another field over here. We start getting at least some of this. Now, the only thing is, I can't remember how much things are, but they're not cheap, are they? That's, the, that's entirely the wrong building. The mill the mill wasn't too bad, actually, was it? I don't think the mill was particular. Well, all right, it's 120 grand. It's relatively expensive, but it's not too bad. Uh, like, for example, that thing. That's only Actually, the small, the small milk plant is only 62 grand. That's also okay. So what I think we do first is, let's get ourselves the small cow shed. 10 grand. That's absolutely fine. We can cope with 10 grand. Now, the only thing is, if we're doing milk, 
Now, yeah, this is intriguing, isn't it? Can this hold milk? Can't remember. Dairy. The small warehouse can hold dairy. So I would say dairy is milk and cheese. I, I think that we you know, we can't really, you can't argue that. Uh, let's just drop these people in. We might as well get them making um, get them making stuff while we can. Get them making some honey. Uh, and we want to get ourselves, let's pause time. Let's buy some hives before we do anything else. Uh, let's also flip them around like that. Right, okay. So can we put them down like that? Okay, so one, two, three. Three. I don't think distance makes any difference to where how it works and stuff. So there we go. And another two, three, and four, and five. Okay, so that's good. They will make us some nice money. We'll repeat the exact same thing along here if we can rotate them around a little bit. Uh, apart from that's the road. Yeah, the roads come a little bit there. Oh, because that's for the way in. Okay, do you know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter at all. Let's flip that around like that. And we'll have one, two, three four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten there we go right good so that'll give us some nice free easy honey in fact let's search for it now let's add in buckwheat honey and let's add in multi-flower honey and that is just that's nice easy profit that's not very much outlay and that's nice profit and that's a good thing and they should in theory start be, be getting on with that straight away the bees because uh, the temperature is such the temperature is such that they will be making honey. It's over 10 degrees. So that's a good thing. That's good. Let's just clear that notification. Bye-bye. Um, next thing we need then. Next thing we need, cow shed. Let's get a cow shed in. Because we're not going to be able to do this in any quick fashion. We need a year to pass, I think. I think we're going to be playing this for a little while. So let's get ourselves a cow shed. And we only need the small cow shed. We don't need anything dramatic and exciting. This will suffice. So let's rotate that round. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. No, let's not do that. Let's get roads. Paved roads. Do you want the cow shed this side? No, let's put the cow shed up here next to this little sort of uh, orchardy thing. Drop that in like that. Drop that like that. Then get ourselves the cow shed. There we go. Rotate that round. That can go just there like so. And build your borders thing around it so we can see where we are. Uh, that can come around there like that. And then we'll have a little sort of double path down that side. Right, lovely, lovely, lovely. Go on, work. Just haven't sorted that bit out of there. Ugh. Right, cow shed is in. We are going to need some more people to go and work in there. I think it's only one person though, isn't it? We might be just about okay. We might be okay. And of course, so the cow shed will help us with doing this, the cow's milk, and also with butter, because butter is good. So that will help because we can get the milk and then turn it into butter. So that's good. So that'll meet three of our objectives. So three of those are fairly easy. It's these two. The rye and the wheat are not the easiest objectives in the world to achieve with the money that we've got, I wouldn't say. I mean, the fact the mill is 120 grand is, is a bit of a giveaway there. That would leave us with not much money at all. So we could go down the route of making another orchard a bigger one down here because we know, we know from previous experience that orchards are profitable. I think we get ourselves a pear orchard. I think that is a good idea. So let's just build a thing down to there. Let's just do that, a path, and then another path like so. And let's get ourselves a pear orchard. Now, they're not going to be massive because the fields are going to be relatively expensive to zone out. Like That's going to be... Uh, yeah, that that's, that's, that's not as much as I thought it was going to be, actually. That's not as expensive as I thought it might be. Okay, so if we build a road on the very edge which we're allowed to do, and then another one like that, and then hold... Oh, it still doesn't like it, does it? Quite mastered that yet. Um, can we do that down there? No, we most certainly cannot. It did not like that. Uh, yeah, double thing at the end. So if we build that there as a field, we get this as a field, which is nice. Do that. So da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. The tiny bit at the end. So eight grand, that's a field. We now need to go into here. Now, have we got plows and things? Seed drills. We've got the combine. Uh, we haven't got a plow, by the look. Oh, the, the lily plow. We've got a tiny plow. Is that enough to plow this? Can we do that? Yes, the tractor and the lily plow. Okay. Do we have a cultivator? Uh, I don't. Do we have a cultivator? We've got the orchard planter. That's useful. Orchard planter is useful. I don't think... I don't think we have a cultivator. I mean, how is this farm formed? Or have we just got sold all our things off? I don't really know. So I think we might need to get ourselves a cultivator. 
to cultivate that ground. And also that as well there. We might, I don't think we can use a machine on that, can we? I don't imagine we use a machine. It's too small. Yeah, it's too small a field. But okay, so a cultivator is going to be required for this. Now, here we go. This is where your money goes. This is where it all vanishes. Right, used, because we're not going to be staying here for long. And we want to get ourselves a cultivator. Bad condition. Yay. Okay, yeah, we'll have that. Uh, no empty garage. Oh, my goodness. We have to build a garage for it as well. Okay. How much is it? I think they're medium, aren't they? Cultivator is medium. Yeah, so it's a medium size. So they, we want to go to here. And want to garage. What can we do? 50 grand. No, that's too expensive. That's for small. So medium brick garage. 28 grand. Oh, dearie me. We're going to burn through money very easily in this. Uh, okay, let's drop that there then. They can build that. Got ourselves some honey already. Got ourselves some buckwheat honey. That's very, very good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, rush time on. Because things, you know, we've been playing on normal speed. I never used to play this on normal speed. <laughs> that was a thing that never, ever happened. Right, cow shed has been constructed. That's pretty good. Uh, we are working our way toward the chicken egg thing. Now, the only thing is, do I need to keep aware of all these things? Do I need to be aware of the chicken eggs? When do they go off? And the goat's milk. See, I'm not going to be selling anything, am I? I'm not going to be auto-selling. Um, can I do that at all? Can I auto trade anything at all? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I can. Uh, no, that's that's entirely not the right button. I need to do this one here and trade. Uh, yeah, can I do that? Sell products uh, when we be over that limit. Okay, so twice a month. So we did have goat milk. So we want to sell that. Now I assume that's just get fifty chicken eggs. Uh, objectives: fifty chicken eggs. Do I need to have fifty chicken eggs? in one go or if i sell those 17 chicken eggs that i've got does that still count i'm not entirely sure do you know what it's only 17 eggs let's experiment with that shall we so let's go okay got that let's sell some eggs 47 no okay so it's not you must have 50 chicken eggs in one go it is you have to acquire 50 chicken eggs across this playthrough okie doke right gotcha that's absolutely fine i can cope with that that's good so yeah on here then Auto trade, so goat milk, goat milk. Can anyone see where goat milk might be? Got to be down there. There's cow's milk. I mean, for the minute, we may want to auto sell that actually. Just at the minute, while we're not doing anything else. When we get the cows in, we'll do that. So got that and goat's milk. There we go. Right. Okay. So sell all the goat's milk and all the cow's milk as it stands right now. And do you know what? Actually, uh, wrong button again. I think I'd know what I was doing by now, wouldn't you? Um, eggs. Eggy, eggy, eggs. Sell the eggs as well. No point hanging on to those eggs. There's no point hanging on to the eggs. So, yeah, we'll get rid of those. Now, we've got apples. We've got a load of pears. I'm very tempted to just sell the pears to get some money. But, uh, okay, and that's the wrong one. I'm going to this thing, aren't I? So, let's buy ourselves uh, a used cultivator. So, yes, this bad condition one here. Because it's 1,000. Hang on a minute. We don't need it for a lot, do we? That might take a bit longer to do. That might take a bit longer because it's only 3.4 metres wide, whereas that one is 8 metres wide. So in theory, that can do things, I don't know, almost three times quicker. We've not got that many fields to cultivate. We could buy a brand new one for 1,500 that's just a little bit, you know, a bit slimmer. Do you know what? Yeah, why not? Do that. Absolutely. Buy that. That sounds very good. Right. Cows. Cows are in. Um... Two and a half grand for the inseminator for the cows. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, allowed food, auto manage. We might want to get some, uh, let's get some other stuff in. Let's just get some different bits and bobs in. Let's buy some, I don't know, grass and crops. So let's just buy a little bit of that for the cows. So they've got a bit of varied diet there. Buy uh, grass. That's probably nice and easy. I don't have an appropriate building. Oh, I need a barn. I'm going to go to barn. Okay, fine. Uh, storage. A bar, 20 grand for a barn. Good grief. Okay, can the barn just sit up there nicely? Yes, it can. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, we'll put the barn right there. Spot on. Barn like that. That'll do. Oh, I've gone under 100 grand. <laughs> Dipped under 100 grand already. I'm sure it's all fine. Uh, and we need an employee. We need an employee to go and work in there. So unfortunately, yeah, we've got room. We've got room for one more employee. Right. Animal caring person. 514 for 2 out of 5. 511 for 4 out of 5. 
Ronnie Reed is looking like... Ronnie Reed, welcome. You've got yourself a job. Yes, Ronnie Reed, come here. And we shall go there and we'll up your skill. Thank you very much. We'll put you into here, like so. And then we need to get some cows. So we can only have six cows in there. So let's buy ourselves three. Let's go one, two, three cows to begin with. Now we're down to 86 grand. 86 grand, that's not very much at all. Right, cultivate this. Yep, you do that. Use the track to do all the stuff. Is anything in bad condition? Do I need to renovate anything? The seed drill? No, it won't let me do it because it's not tired enough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. So we'll cultivate that. We are going to need a watering thing as well. Right, let's get ourselves a sprinkler. There's room in there to get ourselves a sprinkler. That's not expensive, if I remember rightly. Sprayers and watering. A sprinkler. 3,500. And we can just leave it in the middle of the field. So that's fine. I think that's a good plan. We'll do that. Yes, please. Put it into the small garage. Thank you very much. And so now we can water the fields, which, which is something we probably need to do really, really right now. We might want to get two sprinklers. Uh, yeah. Shall, shall we get two sprinklers? I think that's probably a wise idea because there appears to be very little in the way of moisture around the place. So, uh, yeah, sprayers and watering. Why don't we get one of each? Get a sprinkler and get one like that. What can we use that for? Sprinkler. The sprinkler can be used for anything, including orchards, which is fine. Whereas the trailer with water cannot go in orchards. I don't believe. No, no, it's not an orchardy thing. Okay, well, let's buy that. Uh, it can't buy this machine. There's no empty garage. Is that not medium? Is that not a medium? I've pressed the wrong button. Is that not a medium-sized thing? Why is it taking me to tractors? It just randomly give, taking me to tractors. Watering. Um, oh, it's a large. Yeah, I'm not going to buy one of those. <laughs> I think we get ourselves another sprinkler. Yay! Let's put it in there. Right, okay. Has it arrived yet? It'd be really useful if it was actually here. That'd be tremendous. Let's do that. Can, can we do that yet? No, it's not here. Oh, there. There. Are they delivering it? Yeah, okay, fine. You can drive through each other. I'm sure. I'm sure it makes sense in some fashion. Okay. I think it's here. Hooray! We've achieved one of our goals. Right. We are 20% of the way through achieving our goals. Go us. Um, hang on. We have no machines available. Why do I not have any machines available? We've only got the one tractor. Of course. Right, this small field here, uh, hand tools. Oh, dearie me, this is not good at all. I want you to be driving the thing. If I know this, this, you're driving a tractor, you two go out and water that field by hand. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Oh, it just catches the edge, look. It just catches the edge. Do you know what? It might be worth building another well a bit nearer to save them having to go all that way up there. Then come all the way back down again. Where can we pop a well? Just on the edge of this orchard? Uh, or down here somewhere? Can we put one there? Can one sort of fit just there? Yes, just there, look. That, oh, there, abso there, absolutely. Rock on, that's it. Okay, now, 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 now. We're, we're a bit low on the old money. 78 grand is not as much as I would like. We need that tractor to finish up. So let's just bash time through. There we go. Come on. Yep, you've done the edge of the field. Good job. And you've parked. And you are done. Right, okay. Get to this field. Put something... No, not that. No, not no, not that. <laughs> Machines. Do the thing. Sprinkler. Laura Williams, go and do all that now because that field is going to die. If you don't go and do that quick, that field is going to be dead and we lose the buckwheat and that's sad. I bet with a neighbour. My neighbour's back. Hello, neighbour. Prove you're faster and produce two sheep's milk. Well, it isn't going to happen because we don't have sheep. However, we could... We could replace the goats in this building with sheep. Because the sheep produce sheep milk, which is fine. And they obviously produce goat's milk here. But the sheep also produce wool. And wool is something that we could use. And we could sell wool to get us some money. So we could sell all the goats in here and just switch it over. I, find, I assume it has to be empty for us to do that. Switch it over to sheep. Fill it with sheep. Get sheep's wool, which is good to sell. And then we'll also meet that as well. Produce two sheep's milk and win how much was it? 1,900 quid. That's no bad thing. So I think we're going to do that. Let's go down that route. Let's sell all of these. Da, 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 da. Change that to sheep. Then let's buy ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't know. Six. No, go up to eight. Almost half. Eight sheep, like so. 
Uh, it's all the same. All the stuff is the same. Now, we do need some food for those. So we need to get some crops and grass. That's what we are going to get before, wasn't it? That's what we're going to get before. Buy uh, crops. Yeah, okay. Generic sort of thing. Let's buy, I don't know, 3,000 of those. But not very much. Lovely. And then grass. Lovely grass. Four. Can we get 3,000 of that as well? For 769. Okay, that's fine. What else might they like? Can we give them another food? Crops, grass, and corn? Corn, possibly? Or potatoes? I mean, how expensive are potatoes? How expensive are potatoes and when do they go off? Potato. Uh, oh, right. A, a long way off. But what if you buy 3,000 of those? Oh, okay. Yes, they're, they're expensive. That's expensive. Right. Corn. Corn. What if we bought 3,000 corn? Yowch. Oh, no, that's seeds. That's seeds. <laughs> Whoa, what? 3,000 corn. That's still very expensive. Uh, what else was there? Allowed food. Uh, corn, potato, silage, oat, and wheat. Now, silage would be good. Silage would be useful anyway. We could just buy silage in. I'm not averse to that. So buy silage. That's sell. Let's press the right button. Oh, and the price, of course, is high. I never saw this. However, the price difference is so minute, it's fine. So if we bought ourselves 5,000 units of silage that goes off in 2020 for 1,254 monies, that should keep us going for a little while in terms of food. And we've not spent that much. We've got a nice variety of things. The sheep are coming in. We're going to get wool. So this is very cool. So let's go through and check. So sheep's wool. That's good. Uh, right, milk. Uh, we want to check cow's milk. And we want to check uh, sheep milk. Sheep milk like. So, okay. So this is all looking good. That's now done. Now we need to fertilize it. We haven't got a fertilizer, have we? If we've got to do this by hand, we actually got to do this by hand because that's just going to be rubbish. So we haven't got any of that. So we're going to have to buy something. Now we should, in theory, be producing our own manure. It doesn't matter when this field goes in. It makes no difference. There is no advantage to it. So we could. We could. Are they still watering that food? I'm very sorry, you two. We can always wait. We can always wait until these cows have produced their own source of manure, their own, their own output, and then we could always just put that on this field. That would make sense. We might need to help them along a little bit, however, but they are going to produce that. I mean, we could always get a manure storage. Uh, where are they? They're only two grand. Two grand. That's absolutely fine. Let's get one of those in as well. Let's pop that where? Where, where, where? There? Can that path continue around the back? I don't think it can. Uh, how about we just put it there? Oh no, they've got to walk all that way. The manure, the person who looks after the sheep, uh, the sheep, they're not sheep, they're cows. The person who looks after the cows has got to walk all that way. Can we do that along there, like that, and then check to see if one of those fits? Oh, it does. Be oh, that's beautiful. There you go. Spot on. Right. So now they can store some manure. That's all good. Okay, let's do some training. Let me just go and have a look at what training is going to be useful. Um, yeah, I can't see anything immediately obvious. Uh, strength of employees, we could always do that. Strength of employees is always going to be useful. Wind farm, not so much. Rate of production, storage capacity. Not really bothered about that at the minute. Um, yeah, see, really, the big one you want is that. But it's 100 grand, which we can't afford, and it's a year. It's a full year, so we have to sit and wait for a year. So I don't think that really fits for a scenario like this. Let's do that. Let's improve the strength of employees by 10%. It's 500 of your monies. It's three days. Nice and simple. Straightforward. Get that done. Right, and let's hurry time on until... Let's get this uh, manure storage thing built. Let's get that constructed. Okay, I was just looking at this. I was looking at manure spreaders thinking, yeah, we could do with a manure spreader. But um, yeah, look, here, we've done this one as well. We've got the 50 litres of cow's milk already in. So hooray, there we go. 98 litres up there. So we've got that sorted. So we've got two of our five goals in. They're the easy ones. They're the easy ones. This one here, 10 units of butter. Yeah, that's probably easier as well. That's certainly easier than these other two. That is definitely easier than these other two. So uh, yeah, now we should get that as well soon. We should be producing two sheep's milk fairly soon. So we should get that. And our neighbour can pay us $1,900, uh, monies, whatever it is. So yeah, that'll be quite welcome. And that'll also cross that off the list as well. So I think we get ourselves a manure spreader. I think we get this. Because we're going to be making our own manure. This one is the chemical stuff. And this one is the slurry sort of liquid manure stuff. There is a scrap one there. There is a scrap one. 
which I'm tempted by because we don't need it a lot. Look at it. <laughs> it looks horrendous. It looks like I'll just wheel it off the um, off the whatever I'm buying it from, the lot, and it'll just collapse into a heap. But part of me thinks I could always buy that. I could just buy this. I don't need it for a lot. I need it for a couple of fields, two or three fields at most. I could buy the slurry in. So let's just have a look. Buy uh, manure. So liquid manure. How much is that? Current price, 149 Ah, whereas normal manure is 0 0.2. Yeah, I think we probably just go for the other one. I think we go for the regular manure one. Does manure 2032? Really? Manure lasts, what's that? Uh, I can't even do that in my head. 20, si no, not 20, 16 years? No, 14 years, math with penge. 14 years, does it really last 14 years? I thought it might have gone off a little bit by then. So yeah, let's get ourselves the regular, just the regular manure thing. I think that's fine. I don't think it makes that much difference. We probably can, we can sell some of this honey and hopefully uh, make some money back on that. Yeah, that's the only thing though. It's quite, it's five grand cheaper. This thing here, well, ish. Do you know what? No, let's go. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's bite the bullet. We'll just do that. There we go. Thank you very much. And now with that in mind, let's see if we can sell anything. Can we sell any of these things? So, uh, buckwheat honey, is that pricing well? Oh, it is. It is well. Ah, 3,336. Yes, we'll have that. And that honey as well, 2,251. So already, the honey has paid for the buildings we've constructed and some of the hives. I don't think it's covered all of the hives. But, uh, you know, it's, it's only May still. We've not even... Uh, what have we played? Two weeks in-game? So, yeah, that's paid that back very, very nicely. So, there we go. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, all that other stuff is in. We've got the grass. We've got the stuff. Right. Pears. 15th to the 8th. They're still sort of lurking around. Lupine. Can we sell that for anything? We could sell our 89 kilograms of lupine for <laughs> 68 monies. And the buckwheat would go for 74. Oh, what dreams of such wealth. Uh, apples not really going for much. Pears not really going for much. We haven't really got very many of them. So, okay, that's fine. Right, Bosch time on. Let's get ourselves this field uh, with fertilizer on it. So I think they just delivered the uh, thing, just delivered the uh, device that does it. So that's not going to be enough. I need 160 kilograms. Uh, and yeah, I need to buy 140 kilograms of it. That, if that's going to be pears, that's going to be for sort of next year. I don't really think we need that now we don't need to put the stuff on that right now we don't need to sort of fertilize that but do we want to get these fields in do we want to get a wheat field and a rye field in do we want to get those in a field of wheat and a field of rye i don't know do we want to get those in early and then we'll have the wheat and the rye and it'll just sit here it'll just sit here because that'll grow this year so i think we might want to do that as well so let's let's see if we can get that in let's see if we can get at least one of them in It'd be quite nice um so yeah, let's just build that all the way along to the end there, like that. Yes, cutting down those trees gives us money, so it's always good. Right, there we go, all the way down to the end, like that. Yep, there we go, lovely. And you, and can we can we have a go in just there? Thank you. Right, so we want two fields in here, I would say. So a field may be like that, just push it out a little bit. Like there, 6,400. So 32 by 40. Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm not sure. And then we'll have a little bit down the middle like that. And then we'll have another potentially smaller field. That might be a little bit smaller. Never mind. Uh, it's th it, it, do you know what? It miraculously, it's exactly the same. <laughs> that was more luck than judgment. Okay, do that with the machine. Right, okay, go and do that. So she can work on that. Now, we, we are... We're pushing our money a little bit. We're pushing our money a little bit. Are they going to grow soon? Are oh, those apples are going to grow soon? That's fine. That's okay. How are the fields doing for moisture? It's looking okay. They're still watering that field. <laughs> Very sorry. Uh, you can go and do that. No, you can't because we've only got one tractor. Okay, yeah, you can't go and do that. Right, let's wait for this to get ploughed. We need to get this field ploughed. That'll be fine. Then we can go and water that. Yay, and we get some free money from our neighbour... Thank you, gullible neighbour. Thank you. It's good to be back making terrible, terrible deals with you. Uh, just very quickly, what's going on here now? Uh, bills again by 5%. Bills again. I mean, it's no bad thing. 
It's no bad thing by 5%. Yeah, go on. Let's have that. Let's just make the running cost cheaper again. Yeah, it's just sort of free money, essentially, isn't it, once we've done it? So, okay. Right. Get this field done. Put the sprinkler in there. Then come and plough this field and then go and put the sprinkler. That's the plan. Ah, no. Right. The, the, the plan is going to go wrong because this is an orchard. This is an orchard and it needs an orchard tractor, which we don't have. Because the big tractors can't drive through there because they're too big. So yeah, we can't we can't do it. We need to get ourselves an orchard tractor. How much is that gonna be? <laughs> which is an orchard tractor gonna be? Right, tractor. Uh, used, please. Please tell me we've got a used orchard tractor lying around. Fifteen grand. Fifteen grand for a bad condition. <laughs> What's this? Give it a clean at least. So um yeah, a bad condition orchard tractor for 15 and a half grand we might have to do that because this is going to be an orchard as well so okay fine medium brick garage it is let's spend some more money that we don't have right uh meanwhile then they can get on with plowing that field uh yeah let's go get them done let's get these fields sorted that can then arrive which is good and then we can uh, get that field done <laughs> we'll give that some water because i don't want those apples to die they might be worth a little bit of money's there we go, the orchard tractor has indeed arrived. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I mean, the picture makes it look, the picture we saw on the buying screen, makes it look worse than it is. I mean, it's only just past halfway, I would say. So what we'll do is we'll do this and then we'll get it repaired. So we'll do that, get you out with the sprinkler. Now, can I repair it if it's in use, if it counts as it's in use? I don't know. So let's watch them. So they're going to go around, get the little tractor, brum de brum right. And they're going to grab the sprinkler from in here, pop it into the middle of the orchard, and then that'll give that some much needed water. Right, good. So have you dropped it into the middle? Yeah, okay, fine. So now with this track thing, because they're just going to park it back in here, can we now work on that? I don't know if we could work on it or not, or if it counts as though it's still in use. Yeah, look, they've still got the thing above their head, as though it's like, no, I've, I've kind of got the tractor on lockdown, as it were. Can I do anything with it? No, I can't renovate it or move it or anything. So no, I think it still counts as though they're actually doing something with it. Let's check in here as well. Yeah, working in the field watering. Yeah, so it's counting as if they're still using it. Okay, that's fine. Right, well, let's do this then. Let's uh, cultivate this while we're there. Let's get both these fields cultivated. Okay, the orchard tractor has finished doing its thing. We've only got 32 grand. <laughs> this, is, this is not good. Right, orchard tractor. Let's renovate that as much as we can. Just to get it up a little bit. Just so it doesn't look quite as sort of tired and destroyed as it is. Okay, so that's good. Right, run time on. Both these fields will be good. Oh, we need some scarecrows. Of course we do. We can, we can spend money on scarecrows. That's fine. They're not very much. So yeah, let's drop a scarecrow in there. One in there. One in there. Go away, birds. Uh, one in here. I assume these don't have any. One in there. One in there. One in that orchard bit there. And one in the teeny tiny field. We still need to do something with this field. We need to do something with that. I don't know quite what the plan is for that field. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, have you done that then? Is that nice and cultivated? Yeah, it is. Lovely. Okay, yep. Yeah, do the same with this one, please. If you could be so kind. Thank you very much. Okay, wondering what to put in that little field. It's got to be raspberries. It's got to be raspberries. Of course it has. That's going to be tremendous. The only thing is we haven't got many people around. Everybody's doing stuff. Everybody works in places except the three, well, the sort of the, the two tractor drivers... Uh, who, yeah, there looks like she's working in the field. And then one guy here, so an orchard guy. So an orchard guy who also, we, we pay him a lot of money. We pay Ethan Bedina, Bedina, a lot of money. Do you know what? It might be time to release you. We do not need a manufacturing and an orchards person. You're very expensive, 893 per month. When we don't need anybody that can do that. We could do with someone who's better at just harvesting. Just a regular harvesting. But there you go, Jasmine Patel. 468, 3 out of 5 harvesting. You can go and do that because you can work on that field. So yeah, okay, that's cool. We'll have you. Thank you very much. And do you know what? Do we want to make your skill go up here? How much is that going to be? Oh, no, too expensive at the minute. Too expensive. Too much cost. Um, okay, so honey, we've got some wool we can sell. We've got lots of milk. Let's go through and just sell some stuff. Let's actually make some money. So uh, yeah, can we sell the pears? 2,000. And the apples are 2,300. That's not as much as I would have liked. I know, it's coming up as foliage. I was going to say, where's all my other stuff that I can sell? Where's the honey? Right, cow's milk. Uh, sell that, 1,100. That's fine. Multiflower honey, 2,200. Very nice. But queen honey, price is a bit lower than we would expect. Oh, no, but in terms of 13, 
31.4 as opposed to 31.8. That's, you know what, that's neither here nor there with these sort of smaller amounts. Eggs, sell all those, 410. Sheep's wool, that's a free 493. Thank you very much. Sheep's milk, 510. Okay, there we go. So we've, we've topped up our money a tiny, tiny bit. Not very much, <laughs> to be honest, but okay. I mean, that's that's fine. That's good. And again, we're only on the six. We're only on the um, on June. We're only in June, and uh, we still got lots of honey to make, and then crops, and all sorts of other bits and bobs. Some apples are going to come out of here as well at some point. What's the moisture looking like in those fields? Not great, not great at all. Uh, let's let's go and put the thing in there. Oh, we can't because the tractor's in use. The tractor's in use. Oh, the soil moisture of these is terrible. The soil moisture of these fields is rubbish. We could do with some rain, please. We could do with a little bit of rain. That would be really helpful. Okay, my training is finished. So bills should be a little bit cheaper. I think it was 5%, was it? And I've set the three people here that are not sort of employed anywhere else, which does include our tractor driver. So the tractors are currently out of action. We can't do it with them at the minute to uh, work on this little field here. I thought if we get raspberries in, we might get a crop of raspberries by the end of the year, and they're very profitable. Now, the only thing is, will I be able to afford to buy enough raspberry sort of seedling things to populate this field? I don't know. I don't know. But I'd like to find out. So I think we need to get this field done. Get that done. Now, I may have been a bit ambitious. I may have been a bit ambitious because, again, I, I forgot I've got no money. <laughs> I have no monies. So, um, yeah. In terms of these fields, I was thinking, yeah, put pears in there and things in there and things in there. We might have to wait for those. We might have to wait for those and, uh, yeah, just sort of let things tick over. Let things tick over a bit. Now, the only thing is, as well, we are... Well, how much is a greenhouse? How much is a greenhouse? Uh, they were 5,000. Because it's going to come to winter. And this place over winter has got nothing. It's got nothing. The bees will produce no honey, obviously, because they will be hibernating. These fields are going to be empty, I imagine. Well, certainly they won't have got anything done. Oh, yeah, if we try, we could possibly get something out of one of the fields. Um, the chickens will still lay eggs. And we'll get milk from the cows. And we'll get manure and stuff. So we could do that. So we might be able to sort of tick over. We might be able to survive through the winter. It might be very exciting. Not be very exciting at all. But, um, yeah, we're not going to make any great profit, I don't think. So if we get some greenhouses, even if we just get one greenhouse, put some strawberries in it, that might help. That might be very good. So if we put that down here, perhaps. Right, first things first. Let's get this field done. Get this done. And then, uh, yeah, we want to see how much it's going to cost to put things in those fields. Really, though, fertilise there. How much does it cost? Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. If we want to put in a field of rye, we can find where that might be down here. Rye seed. So 21 kilograms of rye seed, it says we need. How much is that going to be? If we go to uh, rye, so rye seed, we want to get ourselves, now this confuses me, I want to get myself 21. So 21 kilograms, or is that 0 0.21 kilograms? Because 11, seems, that seems very, very reasonable indeed. That seems ridiculous, ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. But um, is that right? So if I just say buy that, will that work? Do you know what? Let's try it. It won't do any harm, I don't think. So now in storage, we've got in delivery 21 kilograms. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that, that's refreshingly, refreshingly, um, refreshingly cheap. Okay, fine. Well, we'll do that then. We'll do that. We'll possibly put some rye in this field. At least that's something. That's another crop that we can get done. And then we can, you know, sell it and make a tiny bit of profit to tide us over over winter. But right now, yeah, we need to work on this field. Raspberries, raspberries will be a nice, immediate, sort of high profit thing. So let's get this field done and dusted. There we go. So they finished plowing it. I realise I don't have my little tooltip things on. It's a bit silly. They're quite useful. So, uh, yes. Let's have a look then. So we need to cultivate this. Oh, apparently it's still being ploughed. It's still being ploughed. You could have fooled me. So yeah, we want to get this done. So I say we need to fertilise this. And the only thing is, doing the ploughing is one of the tractor drivers. So if you could finish that ploughing sign thing, that'd be great. If you could finish that off, that'd be lovely. Come on, you're finished. You've finished ploughing the field. There we go. Thank you very much. Right, so that field is now done. I say we get a tractor driver person... We fertilise this, 201. Ah, yes, look, we have enough resources. The cows have been busy doing their thing and they've made as much manure. Lovely. Okay, machines, each us tractor manure spreader, Lorna Williams, whoever. Yes, just go and do the thing. Right, that's good. That'll fertilise that. Then we'll have the seeds ready. 
So that's at least one field with stuff. One field with stuff in. That's quite good. Now the other two, you two bods, the other tractor driver and you, you're going to have to just go and do that by hand. I apologise. I apologise in advance. But uh, yep, yeah, go on, crack on. You might as well get on with it. This will give you something to do. It's the summertime. It's lovely. You're outside. You're in nature. It's fine. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. But I'll just supervise, all right? Wow, fertilising that field was very, very, very fast indeed. It hardly took any time at all. That's brilliant. That's very good. Okay, now, 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 now. We need to make sure... Oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. Yes, everything is very, very thirsty. So now we need to water this, which I didn't really want to do. But okay, tractor and sprinkler. Yep, go and do that, please. So get that done. Yes, by the time that she'd driven in and done the whole of that field fertilized it they've done what a, a third potentially ish of this field of cultivating that so yeah that's it, it it was very quick to do that now that look that water's going on that field look the bit at the edge of that water's going onto the lupine come on come on top the lupine moisture up a little bit be fair right that's done can we interrupt that work now can we tell her to go and get the thing back oh, i think she might be i think she might be yeah there you go she's getting the tractor she's gonna go and do that already oh that's lovely right good then we can do the same with this I don't imagine it will take very long. So, yeah, water. Thank you. Absolutely. Go and do that. Uh, my animal's ready for breeding. <gasps> are, they the, are they the cows? Oh, it's the sheep. Oh, okay. Hang on. How much is it to do? Four and a half grand. No, I think I'll just press the button. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good grief. Four and a half grand for the sheep auto sort of inseminator phone call thing. Wow, that's a very expensive phone call you're paying for there. Good Lord. Uh, okay, right. What I want to do is, then, before we finish up, what I want to do is I just want to get that field sown. I want to get the stuff in that field. I want to get the crops in and possibly water it as well. So that field's done. Come on. That field's finished. Put the thing back. Put the thing back. There we go. Lovely. Right. Okay. That's that done. Now let's put seeds in. So we can put in rye seeds. You have enough resources. Who'd have thought it, eh? So the Etos tractor uses the seed drill. I'll be honest. That was more luck than judgment. <laughs> I completely forgot about how to put the seeds in the ground. So seed drill, that's good. Lorna Williams, right, rock on. So you can put that in the thing. Now, what was the other one we want? Wheat. Does, does the seed drill deliver wheat? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Um, what would it be? What would it be? Not a header. A sower. Seed drill is used for... That's wheat, by the look of it, just there. Hooray! Right, so we've got the thing to put wheat in. That's very good. Okay, good. Uh, right, tractor lady. Get in your tractor. Do some tractoring. Go and put that in here. Go and uh, load this up. Go and load it up with some lovely seeds. And then we want to water it as well. We need to water it because the uh, soil moisture is very, very low. In the meantime, they've done this field. They've done the little tiny field. So let's put some fertilizer on that. The only thing is, it's going to be done by hand. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this is an unpleasant job for everyone. But there you go. You guys can do that. Just think that when you're tucking into those raspberries, when you're eating those delicious raspberries... It's all going to be on you. You can be very smug about that. And uh, yep, they've nearly finished this field. You're going to drive that way now. It's in. So we've got a field of rye. There you go. It's growing. Immediately we need to water it. We need to immediately go straight back in and then put some water in that field. Because <laughs> that's just going to kill the crops. That's just going to kill it dead. In the face. That's just going to absolutely wipe it out. So let's get some water back in there. If it would be so lovely. There we go. Drop it in. Bosh. And the soil moisture will go up fairly quickly, I would have thought. Not a big field, he says. Fairly quickly, I would have thought. No? Okay, no. <laughs> You're not playing ball. Right, you are. Okay, so that's been watered. That's good. Uh, that is a little bit low, actually. So once that field is done, we need to go up here and do that. Last thing we're going to do, do some selling of stuff. Let's see what we can sell. And then I think we'll leave it there. Right, let's sell all of the stuff to see where we stand in terms of money. So sell the cow's milk, sell the sheep's wool, one and a half grand. Just from having sheep rather than goats. A free one and a half grand. Lovely. Thank you very much. Sheep's milk, yep, yeah, that sells quite nicely. Right, multiflower honey, the price, yeah, four and a half grand. I'll take that. Buckwheat honey, the price is rubbish. So let's keep that. That'll go up at some other point. Chicken eggs make hardly anything, but you know what? We'll take it. I think that's it. And that's it at the moment. And that buckwheat we could just get rid of. 56, whatever, that's fine. And uh, yeah, these are going to be gone eventually. The apples and the pears will be gone at some point, but not right now. So there we go. There we go. I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, intriguing. Intriguing. I, I quite like this. I like the fact that it's a challenge. I like that we've got goals. So, you know, I've kind of gone 
thought, I don't need some of this stuff. I don't need to do X, Y, Z. We need to get a field of that in, a field of that in. But to make some easy money, let's try and get a field over here of, you know, pears or whatever. Whatever we put in, pears or cherries, whatever seems most profitable. Um, and then, you know, we put the bees in just to make some money, which is proving to be quite a sort of astute investment because bees are quite good. That's good. The honey is nice and profitable. So, yeah, I like the fact that it's got little goals. So, yeah, we'll come back to this. We'll come back. I don't quite know... I don't quite know how long this is going to go on for. I expect only maybe two or three, two or three videos, maybe. The big cost, yeah, maybe a bit longer than two or three videos. I don't know because we need to get the um, the meal in, and that's 120 grand. So the meal alone is 120 thousand. Oh look, all the trucks are coming in to pick up all the stuff I just sold, and they're going to go down this very very silly street system that we've got down here. I didn't put that in, by the way. That's normally something I would do, but no, not this time. Um, so, uh, yeah, the mill's going to be quite hard to get in. We could get the um, the thing in, the production building, the cheese, the little sort of cheese factory, or not cheese, the dairy factory, whatever it is. But um, we could get that in, because that's 42 grand, I believe. Uh, but then that would leave us a little bit short. But then, obviously, we could then start turning the cow milk and stuff, and the uh, sheep's milk into other stuff so we could do butter certainly we could get that done get the butter out of the way and then we could turn it into cheese which is profitable and it makes us money but at the minute i think we i think we need a bit more money than that i think we need a bit more but that would be a good thing to keep us going over the winter that would be a good winter investment maybe we can get that in maybe we can sort of work on some of these things get more honey maybe in a month's time maybe by the end of the summer because it's just started summer maybe by the end of the summer we'll see what money we've got and see if we can invest. See if we can invest in the uh, small, whatever it was, cheese factory. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Um, that thing. Oh, it's 62. Ah, okay. The small milk processing plant. 273 a month. So we'd have to make sure we paid off 273 a month. And it's 62 grand. But it does make the butter we need. And then we could just go, right, butter's done. Tick. And then go down the cheese route. So we could just make lots of cheese to make money. And that will support us while we get these two fields done. And then buy ourselves a mill. I think that's what we might do. But you know what? That is all for another time because we're going to stop now. We're going to stop now. I think I've been rambling on for long enough. But um, yeah, this one was always going to be a bit longer because we're going to be sort of setting out the goals and looking what we've got and starting off. I think it'll, uh, yeah, it'll pick up. It'll pick up in the future episodes. Maybe, yeah, two or three episodes. And I think the first scenario will be done. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back in Farm Manager Land. I do like it. It's very nice coming back. It's all very lovely. And the music's all familiar. And it's still got the same weird little quirks, like the weird path quirks and stuff. That's not gone away. Uh, but yeah, so it's lovely to be back and we'll see how we get on next time out. If you did enjoy this, please, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this particular scenario and all the other stuff that we get up to as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's coming down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>